that would leave you stranded where you couldn't start the bike, couldn't open your saddlebags, your trunk, or anything. Well, good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Just getting ready to head back home from my Tuesday morning breakfast at Awake. I had uh, breakfast again with my riding buddy Don Smith. And usually we meet on Sundays. But today we met on Tuesday because they open a little earlier on Tuesday mornings for some reason. They open at 6.30 instead of 7. And it is a little bit crisp out this morning. Even though it's uh, 54 degrees, which really isn't that cold. It's one of those days where 54 feels like 44. I'm going to turn that in a little bit. So I haven't got my pinlock visor on my uh, on my visor or my shield and I'm going to actually get a new one. I'm going to go pick one up today at Cycle Gear. They're holding one for me. Um, this is the first motor vlog I've done. I think I did one more early on in the year, right after the new year. But this is the first one I've done in a couple of weeks. It's been uh, pretty cold. We've had some cold, wet weather here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And uh, we're supposed to get a little rain today. So I just haven't had a chance to uh, talk to you on motor vlog. I've done a couple of studio videos in my new studio and I'm still getting that worked out. It's not fully finished yet. I've got to get some acoustic panels in there and I've redone the lighting. I got a new camera. I think I've talked to you about some of that in the past. But the big news is I've finally got my garage to a point uh, where I feel comfortable doing videos out in the garage again. I uh, got the floor done with the polyaspartic uh, epoxy coating on the floor. I absolutely love it. And I'll talk more about that in another upcoming video. And I finally got my garage cabinets, my new cabinets, painted. Uh, I had a, a painter come in. <laughs> I think you probably may have seen the video where I tried to do it with that Wagner sprayer and I just couldn't get it to work at all. So I finally uh, hired a guy to come in and in two days he had everything painted and uh, I got all the hardware put on. I think it actually is starting to look really nice. So I am back out in the garage shooting videos and uh, yesterday, I actually just put out a video on the uh, how to start your motorcycle, your 2018 plus Honda Goldwing, should your smart key not function properly. Uh, it's possible that the little battery inside the smart key could die and that would leave you stranded where you couldn't start the bike, couldn't open your saddlebags, your trunk, or anything. So Honda does have a procedure, uh, an emergency starting procedure that you can go through and I show you how to do that in that video. And before that, just the day before that, I put out a video on where I reviewed uh, Shine Armor, which is the spray-on ceramic, uh, spray-on coating, paint protection and many of you have watched that as well. I've got a lot of new videos coming. I've been waiting to get this garage in a, you know, presentable where I felt like it looked nice enough to where I could actually put the bike out there and shoot some videos. And I think we're at that point now. So that's good news from my perspective. It's, uh, like I say, it's been pretty cold here. We really haven't had any good riding days for the last couple of weeks. Just every now and then we get a decent day. 
Now tomorrow it's supposed to be in the 60s. Well, I think we're even going to hit 70 on Thursday. So uh, probably be able to get out and do some riding then. And uh, what's the weather like where you are? Are you able to ride this time of year? I know some of you guys up north store your bikes in the winter. And um, it's just going to be like this in Dallas or in Texas. It's just you never know when you're going to get a nice day. Sometimes you get two or three nice days in a row and then you get, you know, a week or two of junk. We've only had snow one time this year and it didn't really stick. It just was on the road for a little bit and then it, was, it melted as soon as it hit the ground. So snow and ice has not been a problem for us so far this year. I will be doing a video uh, this week, hopefully. I can finish it up this week. And we're going to talk about what to do if your battery dies on your motorcycle. Have you ever had a situation, put it in the comments down below, where you've been out riding your bike, maybe you stopped for lunch or, uh, or you stopped to do whatever at a friend's house, you go out to start your bike and your battery is dead and uh, you end up stranded because you know I had this happen uh, a few years ago on my 2012 Goldwing I rode out to West Texas to visit my brother and I went out to start the bike one day and the battery was dead unfortunately you get very little warning uh, when your battery is about to die I, I used to on the 2007 2012 Goldwing you'd sometimes you'd pull in the garage and if you saw your headlights flickering a little bit that's kind of an indication that there was a problem with the battery uh, I'm not really sure if you get those same indications on this 2018 plus model I, I, I haven't had the battery die on this yet but uh, uh, my friend Don did have his battery die and I'll tell that story when I do my next video so I'll just I'm not going to get into it right now but have you ever had that happen have you ever had your motorcycle battery die when you're on a road trip or you are just riding out somewhere or even in your garage if you have uh, put it in the comments down below because it's not that uncommon these batteries my experience has been these batteries on these gold wings are usually only good for about three years in fact i'm about ready to go ahead and replace my battery on this gold wing so i you know it still starts it still runs but i know at any point i can go out and that thing's going to be dead now i also use a battery tender when i'm home and the bike is parked for more than a day I always put it on the battery tender so that it's always got that little trickle charge to keep the battery maintained. And I highly recommend that you use a battery tender and I, I'm pretty biased toward that brand. I've really had good luck with the Deltran uh, battery tender. In fact, I'll put links in this video to where you can order those on Amazon and uh, I just think they save you a ton of money on batteries so you know batteries are expensive the battery for this motorcycle is now about hundred and thirty dollars I believe so uh, if you buy the, the the same brand and model that comes on the bike which that's what I usually get now Don's got one of these new lithium-ion uh, lithium Shurai batteries he really likes it but uh, I probably stick with the the old school battery because I know they're going to last three years I can kind of predict how they work you know they I'm, I'm comfortable with the uh, battery that came on the motorcycle have any of you guys put those lithium-ion battery on your motorcycle put it in the comments down below I'd like to know your experience so I appreciate you subscribing I appreciate all the thumbs up on the videos uh, thanks for supporting the channel and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.